it's not fair in argumentation to misrepresent someone's views, to not take their view seriously. Uh, and, and, that, and then, it's, then, then say, ah, look, I, it kind of defeated your argument. Here's a second major logical fallacy that we need to be feel, familiar with, and that, that's what we call a straw man, a straw man. So straw man is basically that you you paint up uh, or put up a, a fictional argument or idea or character, basically. You put up something that isn't really what the person is arguing, and then you knock that down, which is easy to do because that's a lot of times that wasn't even what they were arguing in the first place. So an example that I was thinking we brought up a couple weeks ago when we posted the Christopher Yuan clip about the indoctrination that's happening to kids in schools with this transgender stuff. And we got lots of comments, but some were like, this isn't happening in my school. And so therefore it's not happening. And, and there were other comments too. But one thing that, that we noticed was that it's Christopher Yuan didn't actually make the claim that it was happening in every single school. Mm -hmm. He was making a generalization about how it is it is rampant throughout. Yeah. And so people think if they show one example of a school, then that knocks down Christopher Yuan's argument. And, yeah, and it, it doesn't. It, this is it, it's misrepresenting someone's view mm -hmm. or misrepresenting their their argument. And some of you are maybe I don't know, maybe you're wondering, hey, why is this a straw, you know, called straw man? Well, it's if you I mean, take some clothing and fill it with straw, right? Mm -hmm. And see how easy it is to knock that down versus knocking down a real human being. That's where we're get, you know, that's where we get the 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 name from. And so it it's uh it's not it's not fair in argumentation to misrepresent someone's views, to not take their view seriously. Uh, and, and that, and then it's, then, then say, ah, look, I it kind of defeated your argument. Mm -hmm. So straw man is a second one that we're going to need to, to be able to recognize because that often the world will do that to, mm -hmm. to Christian views of things is that they will caricature it, right? Mm -hmm. Put up a straw man. Okay. So you got straw man ad hominem. Uh, here's another one that's, that's common. It's called the genetic fallacy. And uh, just think of the word, when you think of the word genetic, think of the word Genesis, right? The first book of the Bible. What is that referring to? It's referring to beginning or origin, right? And so uh, same root word, genetic fallacy. The genetic fallacy is trying to discredit a claim based on its origin, like, okay, so where the, the claim comes from. Um, but if you think about it, where our beliefs come from is actually irrelevant to whether or not they are true. So, for instance, let's say I learned that 2 plus 2 equals 4 from my kindergarten teacher, Miss Crabapple. Okay. And, uh, that's where I learned it. That was the origin of my belief when, to, to the, 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 you know, mathematical equation, two plus two equals four. All right. Miss Crabapple taught me that later on. I discover Miss Crabapple, she falsified her records. She actually never graduated from high school. She never got her college degree, never got her teaching credential. She was embezzling money from the school. She went to prison, right? <laughs> She's a schizophrenic, you know, all these things. And we say, oh my gosh, well, you, you know, you should stop believing that two plus two equals four, or you call into question, you try to discredit my view that two plus two equals four based upon the origin, right? Where it came from. Would it follow that two plus two does not equal four because Miss Crabapple, this scandalous woman, is the one who taught it to me? No, and that that's a it's kind of a humor humorous illustration to uh, show that you can't simply discredit someone's view 
based upon where it comes from.